Benny Johnson of BuzzFeed is with us on the program. How you doing, Benny? <laughs> hey, I'm doing great. I know you. There were so many amazing beards at the NRA convention. I uh, did. It you, was. It was incredible. It really was. And I, I found a couple of guys that, that you missed even as I was uh, outside. I guess it was. Friday afternoon, I'm getting ready to leave, and I see this guy walking by, and he's got a uh, a takeoff on a black flag T-shirt, uh, but it's strips of bacon, and it said bacon flag. And I said, "Dude, cool shirt." And he turned around, and man, he had the snidely whiplash stash going. He's you know 23, 24 years old, and he was there with his buddy, and his buddy had the full whiplash. It was it was cool. So we started talking, and you know they were there having a good time. They were from uh, the Austin area. It was it were, was this your first annual meeting? No, I had gone last year when I was working with the Blaze. Okay, so yeah, so what? Compare the crowd in St. Louis last year to the crowd in Houston this year. It, well, okay. First off, the percentage of beards per face was up <laughs> immensely. Um, I think I think the overall beard percentage has probably gone up by fifteen percent. Uh, the the uh, the one in St. Louis was. I mean, it was great. I mean, it was it was my first one, so it was very overwhelming to see three football fields worth of guns, ammunition, cottage industries, and 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 zombies. Um, uh, so it's, it's overwhelming to go to your first one. I was prepared for this, but then you guys go and throw it in Texas, which is like everything's it bigger to a whole in Texas. New level. Yeah, yeah, eighty six thousand uh, people at this NRA annual meeting. I think there were seventy four thousand in uh, St. Louis, seventy six thousand, something like that. Yeah, it's a new record, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Brand new record for the uh, NRA annual meeting, about 12,000 more than last year. And uh, do you have a good time? Oh, I, yeah. I mean, it was, it's, I, I think gun culture is fascinating. <laughs> and, and the cottage industry that's built around it and the, the show and everything you can buy there and you can just walk for miles and miles and miles and see items and products that you would never be able to see anywhere else. Uh, and then the people that are so enthusiastic about it. I mean, it's, it's hard to compare really to anything else um, other than it's, you know, it's its own, you know, its own thing. And I, I'll, I'll be happy to go back and cover it <laughs> for the next, uh, for as long as I get to, because it's such a fascinating uh, and interesting show. You know, I realized um, just a couple of minutes ago, you guys at BuzzFeed, you actually could have done a story, the 40 protesters at the NRA annual meeting. And you could have had a picture and a slide for every one of them there, Benny. <laughs> well, you know, we did. We, we did a story, and it was, it was our headline story this morning. Uh, and it's kind of a BuzzFeed-esque thing that we do. When there are two competing political vantage points, we want to give both sides uh, the, their, their own words for the story. So what we do is we go up and we give them and hand them a notepad and we have them write their message on it. Well, the protesters had their note, their their messages already written on signs. So we went to people on the NRA side who were standing and watching the yeah approximately forty, uh, maybe less than that protesters across the street, and we asked the NRA members to write, uh, you know, what their message would be to the protesters. And yeah. I think it's a very very compelling, fascinating piece. It speaks for itself. Uh, a lot of the messages had to do with. You know, we support your First Amendment right, so support our Second Amendment right. Um, a lot of moms, some kids joined in and wrote messages. Uh, I think it's very, very interesting, and you know, it really told it told both sides the argument. And uh, and yeah, the, <laughs> there's one one lady just drew a teddy bear with a holding a gun, <laughs> and that was her message to the protesters. So. How many now? I'm looking here at BuzzFeed right now, and I see uh, your colleague uh, Matt Stapera was was there at the uh, NRA convention as well. How many uh, staff did BuzzFeed send down for this? It was it was myself and Matt. Okay, so the uh, yeah. it, it was this Matt's first one. This is Matt's first one. Yep. What did uh, never held a gun before? Really? Yep. Wow. So we got plenty of photo ops, and um, it was just it, it's just I, I I was really pleased to be able to. Uh, bring this, you know, really passionate subsection of the American culture to, you know, to a BuzzFeed audience. I think it, it was compelling and, and interesting, and people were, uh, you know, very kind to us. And, uh, and you know, and our readers then get to see, you know, maybe get to see a cross-section of American life that they, you know, they didn't get, uh, know existed or, or um you know, get to see him in their own words, so to speak. So. Right. Yeah. What? What? Uh, what? What have been the, uh, the? What has been the reaction? I guess from the the BuzzFeed readers to your coverage. Oh, I mean, uh, 
positive. I, I, <laughs> I suppose you could you could just see everyone's going to have their own. You know, of course, gun control. This is a very um, gun control and gun issues is a very contentious time for that right now. So people are going to, um, you know, say their point of views. It's going to boil down to their point of views on on, on gun ownership. Mm-hmm. But the important part for for us, the important part for BuzzFeed and our politics team, is to be able to tell the story of the NRA and the convention in a uh, non-biased, non-partisan fashion, and to give a, a face and a voice. Uh, to the people who are there to celebrate their right to bear arms and to celebrate gun ownership, and that's what we, you know, that's what we tried to do is show, you know, show that these are, you know, these are these are these are this is a subsection of the American public that's really really passionate about this and and tell their story. Well, I got I got to say, um, Benny, I and and, and I, I mean this sincerely. I thought that your coverage was very good, and I was a little worried because. Uh, I know that the chairman of BuzzFeed, uh, you know, I've seen the stories that uh, he's talking to other folks and saying, don't don't donate money to to uh, people who voted against Manchin Schumer to me. Um, and so, you know, we all know that, you know, people within the media and the people who, you know, have the money up there uh, have their own opinions as well. But I'm glad to see that that it that did not apparently influence the uh, the coverage that BuzzFeed provided. Well, you know, I have, Cam, I have like a really, I, I feel really privileged to have the, uh, to the kind of reporting that we get to do at BuzzFeed, because as a viral politics editor, it's not to tell one side of the story or the other, it's to tell, it's to, 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 to celebrate and to show what's going on in American politics today in an interesting way. So one thing we published this morning is guns that you, if you wanted to be your favorite uh, action hero, what guns would you have to go buy? Like, what would that cost you at the NRA convention? To right. Neo from the Matrix or to go be, you know, Clint Eastwood or John Wayne. If you, if, you know, and so the intersection of a political issue and pop culture and entertainment, and we were able to find all that at the NRA convention. And that makes for like a perfect BuzzFeed post. Because if there's one thing we can all agree on, um, it's that the Boondock Saints are badasses. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we all, you know, that, 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 that's an awesome movie. And so what is a Beretta 92? It's a Beretta 92F. S, I believe, is what they were shooting. Uh, 92 and, uh, FS, yeah. You know, so let's let's go find it, take a picture with it, and tell people how much it costs if they want to be, you know, if that's if that's the movie they love. I'm just I'm just jealous that you got to see the uh, the uh, mini gun in uh, this with this like tricked out VW bus uh, that it was attached. I I did not get a chance to see that. <laughs> um, well, I mean, that was yeah, that was one of the other. You know, like going back to the point, one of the things you can only see at the uh, at the NRA convention, absolutely, it's like an auto convention or a uh, you know or Comic Con. It's people, you know, things that you would never see anywhere else. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate you coming on the program. Thank you again for the uh, coverage of the annual meeting, and we'll uh, we'll see you in Indianapolis. I'm going to be working on my uh, beard and mustache. Oh man, okay. Well, we'll we'll see it, and we'll put you we'll put you first one. We'll come find you. All right, Benny. Thanks so much, man. Hey, thanks, Cam.